Hello, sweet friends. It's Kelly and welcome to my channel and week three of the hashtag Christmas time. And this is an amazing collaboration uh, hosted by Wanda over at A Day in My World. And there are a lot of wonderful channels that have been participating in the three week challenges from Crafter's Choice to Tags to This Week is Handmade Ornaments. And it is all about the snow glistening on my channel today. <laughs> it is 60 degrees here in South Florida and this girl is happy. I absolutely love winter. I love snow and I'm so sad that every year I miss I am here in Florida where we definitely do not get winter or snow or cold weather. So I am outside all the time when the weather is like this. Run in so I can film this and have this uploaded. But this is week number three and we are creating handmade ornaments. Any type, any size, any shape, whatever it is that you wanted to create. So this week I decided to make some snowflakes and these are absolutely my style. They look a little unfinished, they look a little simple, but that's what I absolutely love. These are from the Dollar Tree. There is a pack of, I think, 10, something like that. And these were um, some of them that I had. What I basically did is I took some uh, paint that I had left over from... Uh, the gingerbread houses that I've made and a couple of little gingerbread um, activities that I did. And I put it in a little bit of tray. I, a tray. I put it in with a little bit of water in the tray and diluted it and then just did a quick brushing. And the reason why I did that is I was looking for kind of a farmhouse, you know, very rustic look to these. I didn't want them to be uniform. I didn't want them to be white. I wanted them to be literally just a little bit of distressed look to them. And then with these pops of color from the ribbon, I adore door the farmhouse style and things that are, are simplistic and rustic and um you know log cabin inspired is what i was going for here i'm not a bling girl i don't like lots of gems and lots of glitter it's just not my style i think it's beautiful it's just not what i would choose so i really went really basic and simple here because this is exactly what i was looking for on the snowflakes themselves, I basically let them dry from the watered down paint and then I gave them a coat of Mod Podge and while it was still tacky, I added on some extra fine uh, iridescent glitter. And this is supposed to mimic the uh, snow with the glistening sun on the snowflakes. So what I did, let me just show you a really quick little uh, sneak peek is um, they're going to settle into the tree something like this so it'll go like that on the tree and you also have a space from using the ribbon which is from dollar tree this one here and this little raffia uh, twine came with the pack of snowflakes all i have to do is thread the hook right through there and you can hang this on a tree but these won't be hanging on our family christmas tree because i did do these for a different project so these will be my little rustic homespun country <laughs> um, farmhouse ornaments and um, they are really really cute i like how these turned out i don't love how they turned out but i like how they turned out and um, i actually have another pack that i'm super excited about because i have an idea hit me when i was in the middle of making these and i said that's what I'm going to create for pack number two. <laughs> so you'll see that one coming up very soon. I wanted to share that I am still going strong with these. I bought a pack of these. There were 20 in the pack. This is just a couple. I have over there on my desk about, you know, another 10 or 12 more, but these are amazing. I'm hoping I can find the link to these. These were from Amazon and I use them to paint all the time. I just add stuff in here. Then I wash them. I let them dry. And these are amazing. These were in the kids section and they came in this big drawstring bag and what I loved about it it had a scrunchie a hair scrunchie right in the top right here and it said this is a gift for your mom <laughs> so I thought that was amazing and super sweet and these were just like four or five dollars for this huge stack and they're reusable two years now I'm still using these so I wanted to share that as well but this is what I created this week I am loving my uh, rustic you know, farmhouse, uh, country, log cabin inspired 
snowflakes and this is just perfect for me so there you go these are my ornaments for this week and uh, if you would like to play along just to inspire yourself then that was what we were hoping for this is the holidays and maybe this will get your little creative um, ideas flowing and just really enjoy the process of making something for yourself and something handmade, homemade. You could put these in a little box. You could put these in some tissue paper and unwrap them and gift them. However, you want to make them your own style. Maybe you do like a lot of the bling and the gems and that would be perfect. Whatever you are inspired to create, I hope this gives you another idea. And of course, be sure to check out the long list of channels that I will list below and uh, see what everyone has made this week. It was a super fun three-week collaboration, but it won't be our last. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. <laughs> and that's it for this video, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give this a thumbs up and like this video. If you like my content, consider being a subscriber. Hit that notification bell, let you know every time I have a new video up and um, leave me a comment. I love reading what, you, um, what you're sharing and it also helps me find your channel as well. And that's it for this one, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.